Did you know that Guido is an Italian name, but it's also the Italian translation for I drive? Pit stop. Did you know Luigi's license plate reads 445-108, which is the latitude and longitude for the Ferrari factory in Modena, Italy? That in the Our Town montage, the Rusty Bumper Store features the Rusty's logo in the window. Crowd scene at the Piston Cup Showdown at the end of Cars features 105,000 separately animated cars, including 13,000 cars entering the stadium alone. The Taxi Fair game from Cars 3 was the first car in the Cars franchise to drop an F-bomb, although he was censored by another competitor's horn. Did you know that the minivan couple gets lost in the desert after Van refuses to use a map on their road trip? In Cars 2, he now carries around a bunch of maps because Tony learns from his mistakes. Sheriff was originally going to have a cameo in Marvel's Ant-Man, but was replaced by Thomas the Tank Engine. A post from Ant-Man concept artist Andrew Kim showed some example art that shows Sheriff from Pixar's Cars. Did you know that at the craps table at the Porto Corsa Casino, the game is played with fuzzy dice, much like the kind you might find hanging from a car's rear view mirror? Did you know that during the end credits of Cars 2, when a map of the U.S. is shown, Pixar's headquarters can be seen in Northern California? It can be identified by Pixar's mascot, Luxo Jr. This sculpture exists at the real building. Cars was Larry the Cable Guy's first animated film to perform in. Hey, listen, if anybody asks, we was out smashing mailboxes, okay? <laughs> That's great. In the talk show in the beginning of the World Grand Prix, McQueen is seen in the intro for the event, even though he hasn't signed up for the race yet. He also had his World Grand Prix paint job, which he would get later in the film. While the other racers' trails correspond to the country they're from, the trail behind McQueen is red and yellow, like the Spanish flag. Not so fast, McQueen! Not so fast. What is that, your new motto? Did you know that the church in Uncle Topolino's village is called Our Lady of Automobiles? Bravo and Echo from Planes are two F-18 jets inspired by the 1986 film Top Gun characters Iceman and Goose. The jet fighters wear the same color helmets as the characters. Val Kilmer is behind the voice of Bravo, and Anthony Edwards is Echo. Listen, Crop Hopper, better follow us to the boat. No bingo fields around here. Did you know that the FA-18 squadron featured in the movie Planes is the Jolly Wrenchers, based on VFA-103 Jolly Rogers? During one scene in the movie, the planes are chanting, Victory! 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 Victory is the call sign used by VFA-103 pilots. The plot of Cars 3 was originally going to explore the potential of SoCal culture, with skateboard parks, high fashion expressed through wrap jobs, cosmetic bodywork, custom wheels and tires, and the appearance of celebrity cars, such as the Batmobiles, Herbie the Lovebug, Ecto-1, the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, and the DeLorean from Back to the Future at swank parties in the Hollywood Hills. This world was contrasted with the stark minimalism of a dry lake bed, where cars raced for the sheer joy of speed. Did you know that Cars was originally titled Route 66? The name was changed to Cars to avoid a connection with the 1960 television show Route 66. Did you know that the Wilhelm scream was used by one of the cars in McQueen's Daydream sequence? <laughs> The Wilhelm scream is a stock sound effect that has been used in a number of films and TV series, beginning in 1951 with the film Distant Drums. <coughs> the famed Wilhelm scream isn't featured in Cars 3, making it the first Cars film not to have it. <coughs> Did you know that during the Demolition Derby, Lightning uses the name Chester Whipplefilter to try to hide his identity? That's me! Chester Whipple filter. Mr. Whipple is a character featured in Charmin toilet paper ads from the late 1960s to the late 1990s. George Whipple, you old side right up. Please don't squeeze the Charmin.
there is an oil filtering system that uses a roll of replaceable single-ply toilet paper as the filtering media. Cruz Ramirez's Texas license plate is C0106A, which is a combination of her voice actor Cristela Alonzo's initials and birthday, January 6th. You guys gotta work through this stuff so when your big chance comes along, you can take it! Did you know that when Cruz Ramirez plays music for one racer named Gabriel to remind him of home, and then shows him a scene on the TV, the scene is from Coco, and the car comes from Santa Cecilia, where Coco took place. Pedal to the metal, Mr. McQueen. Let's go, go, go! Did you know that Doc Hudson's dismissal by the racing community in 1955 has some basis in history? Hudson Hornets were a popular and successful choice for stock car racing in the early 1950s due to their low center of gravity, which gave them excellent stability on all the dirt tracks used at the time. However, Hudson used older flathead technology in their engines, and by 1955, GM, Ford, and Chrysler had all developed more powerful overhead valve V8 engines. Hudson's were no longer considered competitive. As a parody of Dr. Phil, Luigi's Uncle Topolino was featured on V12 TV, a promotional short for Cars 2 by Pixar, when he took the name of Dr. Phil It Up. Catch me outside, how about that? Outside? In Plains Fire and Rescue, the pine cones in Piston Peak National Park are made of spark plugs. There are over 2.5 million trees in the Piston Peak National Park. The foliage in the park is inspired by the national parks of the Pacific Northwest. The Arc de Triomphe in Cars 2 was designed in the shape of an engine block with headlights in the front features. Bon vieux chapeau, permettez? Did you know that El Chubacabra is a GBR1 racer? The GB was nicknamed the Widowmaker and the Flying Coffin since it was incredibly difficult to fly and was prone to crashing. It was also very fast and maneuverable, so many pilots used it in 1930s air races in spite of the danger. The blade, the myth, no, no, the no, legend, no, hell to Did you know that Finn McMissile was originally created for an unused scene in the first Cars movie, where Lightning McQueen and Sally went on a date at the Radiator Springs Drive-In Theater to watch a movie called Taxis of Death? which featured Finn as a super spy with high-tech gadgetry and copious amounts of aplomb. Did you know that at one point in Cars 2, Mater is prompted to think of insurance agents? Then he says the State Farm Auto Insurance jingle, with modified lyrics. Like a good neighbor, Mater is there. State Farm Insurance was one of the sponsors for this movie, and Pixar created an animated television ad for them. Now that's an undercover agent. <laughs>